Shannon Eichenauer has been a teacher at East Allen University for 10 years. This past year has been the most challenging of her life, but she's approached every obstacle the way she approaches everything with love and determination. In part one of a two part special report, you see why Shannon Eichenauer is positively Fort Wayne. Long before the sun rises, Shannon Eichenauer is preparing for the journey of a lifetime. I get up about 3.45, 3.50. Um, if I'm lazy, maybe 4.10. Um, I've always worked out in the morning, um, but it's been harder because of the pain. But Colorado and being with my family in Colorado was probably my biggest motivation. What a beautiful life. But before you understand where she's going, I won't let it pass me by. you have to understand where she's been. Anyway, last year was a tough year teaching during COVID. We had lost um, one student in early spring, and I decided in honor of her that I would hike and try and get back to just, you know, nature and my family and hanging out. I started hiking every day, every chance I could, and I ended up hiking over the summer 153 miles in State Park. I felt so excited and ready to come back for the school year and then the Saturday before school was supposed to return, went to my in-laws for a birthday party for my oldest daughter and when we left the birthday party to go home, we were going through a green light and our car was T-boned on my side of the car, I was a passenger. My husband and I were the only ones in it. I was unconscious, my husband was unconscious. My daughter, who was 20, was behind us and was the first on the scene. That's the part that's hard for me to talk about. Um, I mean, it's been it's been a battle, but she's doing good. Um, a lot of work, a lot of therapy, a lot of counseling to help her. Everything has been a battle since that day. I had seven fractures. Um, my L1 through L4 were fractured, which my spine. Um, I had three pelvic fractures, so both my hips and then a just standard pelvic fracture. I had a lacerated spleen, it was a grade three. A grade five means they have to take it out. Um, I had a lot of internal bleeding, two broken ribs, my lung was punctured. Doctors didn't know if Shannon would ever walk again. Immediately I was like, I don't care what they say, I'm gonna walk again, and then I said, I'm gonna climb mountains, and hence Colorado, and why I'm going to Colorado. So I wanna, I wanna climb mountains. The fact that I'm probably never going to run or jump, those kind of things are hard. There's a lot of pain associated with it, but I just, I can remember them not being sure I would be able to walk there. The prognosis just wasn't. So it feels like a blessing that I can even function and be here and live my life the way I want to live it. And uh, Shannon was awarded a grant from the Lilly Endowment's Teacher Creativity Fellowship Program, which will pay for that trip. She'll be in Colorado for four weeks with her family and many of the people who have oh. helped her along the way. My goodness, to hear her say twice, they weren't sure if I was going to be able to walk, and then to see her working out and, and having this, uh, this vision for what she wants to do. I mean, truly an inspiration, not only to her family and students, but to strangers, I think, everywhere. Absolutely, and she's just such a special story. Uh, her, she credits her physical therapist, so many that have helped her through this, and also they credit those 153 miles she walked. Sure. Uh, dedicating it to one of the students who had passed while she was on that journey. Another student has passed. Oh. So on this trip, she will have two walking sticks with their names engraved oh. on them, taking them along with her on this trip. So emotional, so incredible to hear. And much more to come. Tomorrow in part two of our story, we will talk about Shannon's favorite saying, love wins, and how her return to the classroom impacted her students. Can't wait to see that. To see all of our Positively Fort Wayne stories, just head to wayne.com and hit the news tab. Then look for Positively Fort Wayne. And if you have a Positively Fort Wayne idea, please send it to us. Just email positive at wayne.com.